Good morning, guys. Guess what? It's my birthday month. Actually, it's days before my birthday, and I'm going to paint my nails. This is the gel lamp, the UV lamp that I use, and look at my thumb. Look how awful that is. And I think what we're going to do is hot pink and like a neon pink, and we're going to do them all glittery. And what I love about this is... Like I said, don't ever take my advice, but I can do them all glittery and just peel the whole polish off my finger after I'm ready to do a whole new thing. Because, you know, if you use regular polish with glitter over it, it is super hard to take off this. Yeah, so stuff huh? Um, I just peel the polish off my nail. And like I tell everybody, don't do that because it's, it's, I guess it rips layers of your nail off. <laughs> I don't know because it's really like, it's really on there. So... Yep, I'm going to do my nails. I think I'm going to take you with me because I might go to Spencer's and get Carolyn a gift. Um, no, didn't touch it. We're getting ready to go on our trip. And by the time you see this, I think... I'm not going to upload one on there. So by the time you see this, we are going to... We are, went to Hocking Hills. In case you guys want to know, we have a cabin. I think I'm going to do a whole separate video of the cabin when we get there. And I'm sure Brian will. I'm sure Carolyn will. So you're going to see plenty of footage. And I'm going to be honest, watch Brian's channel because he probably has way better footage than I do for it. Bringing He's bringing his drone. But yep, we have a trip. We're going to Hocking Hills. We have a cabin. And yeah. Um, also, guys, I got tested for COVID the other day and I am negative. It was fun, wasn't it? No, it was not fun. Um, it actually, I felt like my nostril was going to fall out. It did not hurt, though. I didn't think it hurt. It was just wildly uncomfortable. It, I don't, oh God, I definitely don't want to get it done again anytime soon. <laughs> it, uh, I don't know. It wasn't, it wasn't the most pleasant experience, but I've been through worse pain and that to me was, it wasn't even painful. It, like the lady told me, it was like going underwater and getting water up your nose. That was perfect example of what it was. I had a lot of like pressure in my head afterwards. And then there's the little dogs. And I cleaned our house super, super, super good. Not the kitchen table because Brian's in the middle of doing projects. But um, yeah, I'll show you my nails after. But I just wanted to show you. This is the brand of polish I have. I was hoping because I ordered 40 new nail polishes. It was I got it on a sale. So um, what am I trying to say? They're not going to be here. So I, think, I was trying to hold off, but I'll just paint them like this now. And yeah, guys. I'll take you along my whole week. All right, so this is the finished product. Not like my best manicure I've ever did, but you know what? It's still really cute. And if you guys want to know what shades I use, 750, 752. I use 472. It's like this glitter. And then you guys need a top coat and a base coat. And yeah. So I finished that up. Um, I laid this little mat here just in case the UV did like did anything to the table. I don't know. I'm inexperienced with this stuff. Okay, so on the agenda, now I have to get ready and do my hair. Then I gotta run around. I gotta go renew my tags for my car. Boring. And then I think I'm gonna run to our mall. Um, Michigan actually opened up for dine-in eating today. So that's cool. Hopefully they keep it open. And then I'm going to pack later, get all of the stuff situated, because tomorrow we leave. And I think we'll be leaving at, like, noon. So this, this video may be together with that one, or this may be just, like, a day before, I think. So I'm going to put all this stuff up, and then I'm going to go get ready. I'll be back. <gasps> Look at it, guys. It's a winter wonderland outside. Thank God that it stops in a little bit, because our trip's tomorrow. And I don't like, well, Jacob's driving separately and he's like new to driving and I don't want him to drive in snow. I don't know. I'm weird. I swear I'm like a mom. Okay. But right now I am headed to the mall. So let's go. All right, guys. So I had my hair really cute earlier and I had them like in like not pigtails, but kind of. And I had these little elastics in my hair and they popped. So there's that. <laughs> Tasha, so if you hear like dog noises, that's my dogs. Like my new earrings, too, guys. She only wants to be audible when you're recording a video. Walmart got this at Walmart, so I'm gonna show you a little haul of things that I got. Oh, I'm gonna show you also this bracelet my mom got me. Um, everyone, 
I know like some of my cousins watch and they don't cuss, but anyways, it says you effing got this. Kind of cute. No, it's not kind of. It's really cute. I love it. Um, don't mind my messy couch right now. That's just blankets, but this is real life, guys. Show them the best thing we got all day, popcorn. Okay, so um, we're going to hook you up on something. This is not my favorite. This is actually my dad's favorite and Brian's. Go get you some popcorn from Subway. If, um, well, I don't know if your Walmart has a Subway. Not all, not all do. So go get you some popcorn if you have a Subway. I don't know why. That's literally he loves like, it. That's be almost better than movie theater popcorn. Almost. Okay, so in preparation for our trip, um, I have this idea in my head of an outfit I want to wear. I, I saw a lot of girls wearing like oversized tees with like a shirt underneath. And then I thought of layering necklaces with it. You know, that grungy, cute look, I guess. It probably won't look anything like that. But, you know, I bought it anyways. So, I got a white long sleeve shirt. Got this in the little, little the women's section. And I paid $4 for it. Got it at Walmart. And then underneath it, I got an oversized, watch it not be oversized, but you know, it is what it is, right? I got this Nirvana shirt. I love band tees, could wear them all day long. And I'm gonna wear the white shirt underneath this and I paid, there's the ghost again, our lights flickering. We've caught that in a video before. But anyways, I got this to wear probably on my birthday underneath that. I think I'm gonna go live on my birthday. So I, actually my whole family's probably gonna end up going live. This will be after that they're seeing this, though. Yeah, you're right. Isn't it, it's so weird to think it messes with yes, your head. Yes, you're right. Okay. So then Walmart has gray sales right now. They're probably getting ready to get rid of so all their, everything. like, like everything was on sale. And, clothes, shoes. yep. So I got me a flannel. I love flannels. You all have seen this. Jean jackets and flannels are my stuff. So I got this one in the men's section for $6. It was regularly $10. It's just gray and it has like purple or pink stripes in between it. Probably wear this tomorrow on our way to the trip. And then um, I got Brian this for, he's not going to use this for his phone, but I got him a Breaking Bad decal. And speaking of Breaking Bad, this has nothing to do with it, but you guys should really watch Your Honor. It's on Hulu or Amazon. Not uh, Showtime. It's on Showtime, guys. Watch it because it is amazing. I give it 10 out of 10. It's li like it's Breaking quite Bad. literally right up there with Breaking Bad. Yeah. To me, 10 out of 10. And then for Carol Ann's birthday. They even like Breaking Bad without the drugs. True that. Well, there probably is drugs. There is drugs involved in it because, true, true. yeah, so just watch it, guys. I'm not going to say any more. I got Caroline in this for her phone. It's the office. Uh, by the time Caroline sees this, her birthday is the 11th, but I'm thinking on our trip, I just kind of want to give her her gifts now. I mean, her birthday, we will probably, well, I'll end up working, but I might be able to go to their house after. Um, anyways, her birthday is on Thursday, so... I'm sure we're going to go out and do something. I know she wants to go to this one place. I won't say because I don't know yet. So we might do that. And then I'm going to fill her bag with these pink Reese's. And Brian's like, you're not getting you any? I'm like, honey, I already had one bag. No. I got to get ready for a wedding. Okay, and then I got this little tissue wrap. I buy this in the little, like, party section at Walmart. And they have, like, really cheap things because nobody cares about this stuff. She ain't going to care. Um, and I got her a little bag to put her stuff in. And then I got her a card. A cute little card. Brian, I was like, should I get her one? And Brian's like, she's probably ain't even going to keep it. And I was like, no. I didn't say that. Caroline's a hoarder. And Caroline keeps everything. So she'll said, keep it. I don't it. know. Is she a card person? I am. I keep every card ever. And then... Okay, so it's a tradition. I do this for Brian. I do this for Carol Ann. Jacob just turned 21, and he's not really, he's been introduced to the world of champagne and wine. So he, he's, oh, he, he is. He is. He's buying Chardonnay. Um, so he's not like, he, he doesn't get, he don't drink beer. He doesn't drink like liquor or anything. So I didn't, why am I going off on a tangent, guys? Every year for their birthday, I get them shot glasses. It's just something I've been doing forever now, so I keep up with the tradition. Jacob, this year, I did not get him one. I almost got him one um, when we were in Tennessee, but I was like, well, he, I don't know. I felt kind of iffy with it, so I didn't. 
Anyways, though, I got Carol Ann this one. Again, warning right now, it's going to say a cuss word. But it's a galaxy print, which Carol Ann loves galaxy print stuff. And then it just says, F off. Something very Carol Ann. And then um, I just get these at Spencer's, Spencer's Gifts, whatever. I feel like they always have the best ones, although I did have a hard time this year finding some. Brian, I already have ones in my head that I'm going to get him. I'm sure he already knows what they are. Is the Breaking Bad Beaker? Yeah. And then I got her this one. I wanted that one for like years now. Never so I'm going to get it for him. Spoiler alert. And then this is just an office one. It says false. I don't watch The Office. Um, You guys can hate on me real quick, but I do not like oh, that show. It does. It does. Unpopular opinion, for sure. You but I could not get into it. I'm going to be honest with you. You know what show I've been wanting to watch? I saw it the other day. It was like the top 20 episodes. Uh -huh. Key and Peel. Yeah. I don't know their why. Their skits are hilarious. I don't know why. show is not good. Okay. Sorry, my bra straps keep falling, guys. And we're just going to keep it real. Okay, so I hit the jackpot. We have like four stores in our mall. And I went to this one store. I bought a pink face mask. And it's glittery. Actually, I think I threw it in this bag. Um, It's too big for my face. Who would have thought that would have been a thing? I paid $6 for it. And I'll show you it. But if you're going to wear a mask, at least, you know, I want my personality to shine through it. And it's really girly. It's really cute. I mean, it, it's giving me uh, Mortal Kombat vibes. All I'm going to do is just tie the sides so I can wear it better. Okay, but I went to the shoe store because I was like, we have one random shoe store in that mall still. I don't even understand That's how it's like open. The only thing yeah. keeping that mall open. Yeah. So I don't even understand. But I went there because I was like, okay, well, I'm going to see if I can find me some like wedding shoes. And then I stumbled across, if I could say like the epitome of a shoe, this is probably me. The brand is Hot Cakes. They were, and see, this is where I, I look like I'm a big, sh like a bad shopper and I spend a lot. But the thing is, I wait for deals. Like all my stuff from Walmart, I pay clearance for. My shoes on sale. They were regularly. Ryan, uh, he, full price. he bought that. The shoes were regular, twenty four dollars. They were on sale for nine ninety nine, and then fifty percent off of that. So I paid less than five, basically five. But yeah, these shoes right here. Look at them. These are going to be perfect for summer and they're really cute flats. I tried them on super comfy and they are neon and I almost bought myself a backup pair, but they didn't have my size. I was glad that they had my, my size in these. So I bought these for me. I also got them for Carol Ann for her birthday. She thought she was going to buy them and give me the money. No, I just bought them for her, for her birthday. So she got the same pair, but these ones, these ones right here are like my life these the color payoff is not doing it justice on camera but they are like the most this is the perfect pink in my eyes and i would die to have a car this color um but i don't like a lot of attention so that probably won't go over well but yeah these are super cute and i love them and i got caroline in them too so yeah i paid basically i bought all pairs of shoes for the price of like one very good deal Okay, my watch messed up. And then I think that's it as far as everything that I got. I was supposed to go renew my tags today. Definitely didn't do that. Definitely won't be doing that till I get back home. Um, I would show you the gifts I got Carol Ann. She already knows like two of them. I got her the Pop Funko, the Ellie from The Last of Us. I think it's two. And my mom and them had originally got it for her for Christmas, but it never showed up. So they just thought I got lost. My mom canceled the order. Long story short, it ended up showing up, but I had bought her one for her birthday because she really wanted it and didn't think she was getting it. So now she has two. And then I bought her an Alex and Adi bracelet. That's starting to become a thing now too. I noticed like I got her one last year for Christmas. Then I got her one this year for Christmas and I'm getting her one for her birthday. And it just says sister. It's really cute. And the last present I'm not going to say until she opens it on camera because I know she's going to flip over. Are you going to give her all this stuff that you've said already? Huh? Are you going to give her all this stuff you've said already? Because this video will be up before her birthday. No. Oh. Yeah. Well, I'll just tell her not to watch this. But I'm, I, well, I text her and I asked her, I said, so do you want to like open your gifts? Um... 
Uh, cool, uh, like it would be. I mean, obviously, I'm a, okay, like, I'm really big on birthdays. Like, I'm huge on them to me. They're super important. I probably care more about them than what normal people would. I don't know why. And I'm the kind of person, like, I don't, you need to have a bunch of balloons. You need to have a cake. For Brian's birthday, I think I showed it. I decorated our whole house from top to bottom. I don't know. Just something about birthdays, really, they mean a lot to me. So... I think I'm gonna do that. Brian, um, we also are drinking a little bit on my birthday. This is the first time I've drank in ma I'm, no, um, probably almost a year, I'd say. And because we're the kind of people that like, um, I like socially drink when we go out or something, I'll do it. But to sit at home in that, it's rare. Um, I just don't really like the taste too much. So I'm gonna go find me something tomorrow. Probably. Oh, uh, yeah, that's where I was leading up yeah. to. So I'm going to go find me something to get. I'm more of a fruity person. I think I might get like a sex on the beach. I've seen they have them in cans. So I'm curious what that would be like in a can. I don't know. I'm going to get something else, obviously, that I like. I'm a very cheap yeah. drinker. I You can get me a can of something and I'm, I'm good to go. Like a smearing off or something. I won't do anything crazy. Um, honestly, I'm going to let you guys know. My drink of choice, because I'm a sipper. I cannot do a shot. Caroline swears she's bringing shot glasses she swears that she's gonna look up how i can do a shot there's something you do with perfume and something where you can't taste it um i could tell you it's, i could tell you it's not going to happen the thing you don't realize though like you'll sip on something that's horrible a shot you just literally swallow it all at once like you're not sipping on it i don't know so she, Caroline is a person that you could throw 50 drinks at her and she'll be fine. She won't end up throwing up at all. She never throws up. She's got like an iron stomach. Now me on the other hand, I stick with one drink. I will not mix. I may sip one other thing, but, um, I've learned from experience that that's the, that's where I throw up. So not going to do that. Um, Brian, he, again, he experiments with drinks cause he, he's not a drinker either. So he got crown Royal vanilla, vanilla. And I bet if you got Coke, that would probably be good. Yeah, maybe it'd be like Coca-Cola. Coca yeah. yeah. And then what else did you get? He got something that looks I like know. chocolate milk. It does not look it's, good. It's like a martini thing, but it's like chocolate. I don't know. I just think that that sounds awful. I don't like milk, so that's disgusting to me. And then you throw know. alcohol in it, and I'm, I'm, I'm not. Those people that's like, oh, guys need to drink whiskey. It's got to taste horrible because that's good. I'm not a I'm not a dark liquor kind of person. If I have to pick, um, I'm gonna pick like vodka oh, mixed with good. something. Like, they all taste like crap. Yeah, but you know, like straight vodka versus something that's got a little, you know, flavor is. Yeah, I'm not a beer person either. I beer honestly makes me want to throw up. I rather never. I like. I will remember, never touch it. Remember our other Kroger? We used to do that. Like you could do the create your own. Yeah, I. We tried. How many? We did tried, we? Like, two different ones. See, I got a horrible memory. I don't even remember this. I just know it's disgusting. They all tasted. So, yeah, um, honestly, I'm not going to get it, but my go-to, to be truthful with you guys, is a pathetic, crappy, high school for loco. I know, I'm going to get ripped for it. When I tell it people, gets, I'm just like... Okay, but why, you're not drinking... Okay, I was gonna say, but that, that's the thing though. The when I like, I can't be like a normal person that's like, okay, give me three shots and I'm good to go. I can't do it. I sip on my shot for like hours, and at that point, I don't even have a buzz. So if I'm going to like get a buzz or something, I'm gonna do a four loco, and I cannot drink a full one. I've only, if I've ever drink a full one, oh my god, <laughs> um, I normally do like half, and I'm I'm set. I'm good to go. I'll stop, and I'll be, I'll be all right because I don't want my head to spin. Okay, but yeah, we're about to eat dinner, and guess what we're having? We're being real fancy tonight. We're having, what are we eating? Hamburger Helper Cheesy Hash Browns. It's one of my favorites right now. I freaking and love it. I've made it multiple times. You've refused to touch it, and then you tried it. And, and it I was it. 10 out of 10. Um, it's like breakfast yeah, so I think that's pretty much it. I don't know. This might be a video all in itself. I've talked for like 15 minutes. And um, I'll probably film more tonight of what I'm packing because we all know I'm an overpacker. Oh, I told yeah. Brian, I said, give me um my, because he's got some of my birthday stuff in our in his like back room. And I said, well, my suitcase is in there. I'm like, well, he bring that out. And it's unnecessary because we're only going for two days. But I feel like you just never know. You have to have options. And I did this in Tennessee. Like I packed way, way too much. But I'd rather be prepared than unprepared. So, and yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go, guys, and I will talk to you all in a little bit. Brian, say bye.
Bye.